I'm Peter Russell. I'm a founding member of Joomla Tools and podmaster of Joomla Juice. Today we're broadcasting from London and I'm going to take you on a quick trip to the subtropical island of Madeira. Madeira is a, a territory of Portugal, world famous for its marlin fishing and it's uh, certainly a place where famous people used to hang out. Uh, Ernest Hemingway was a uh, one of the early A-list celebrities to visit Madeira. Nowadays, it's considered a good place to go if you're very, very famous and you don't want the paparazzi following because the locals just get on with things around there. But talking about things that people get on with, um, this is a actually a reprise edition because 12 months ago we spoke to Chris Zabo, who's an expatriate Brit who's living in Madeira, Chris has set up an amazing Joomla business, and in 12 months, uh, he and his team have knocked out 40 very high-level, polished, professional Joomla websites, now breaking into the Joomla 1.5 and looking forward to extend their reach into the web industry. Chris is doing e-commerce, multilingual, and just your standard Joomla websites, but all of them, uh, well, I can tell you that they're a work of art. So um, I recorded this uh, video interview with him earlier, and I hope you enjoy it. And bear with bear with me, and and uh, I think you'll find it it's worth a listen. One of the most interesting sites we've developed recently is Moves Estrelicia, which is based around the Joomla framework. Interesting because. This company is owed a lot of money from its clients in Venezuela. Most of their clients are Portuguese that are living in Venezuela, and they were finding it very hard to pull in the money, so they wanted an e-commerce site that they could collect the money with. Yeah. So we integrated the local Portuguese banking system and PayPal and, and built this site based around the Joomla framework and Virtumarkt. But we tried our damnedest to make it look so different than any other Virtumark site. And I think we accomplished that. It is very different. We used some proprietary programming. But get, again, Joomla was so forgiving and so flexible. And Virtumark also let, it, let itself be torn apart and put together in a different way that we could display the information in a way that people aren't used to. So this was a, a, a challenging site for us. We enjoyed putting it together. And the client was very happy in the beginning. However, Hugo Chavez has since stopped internet payments oh, no. going, no. going yeah. out of Venezuela. So um, they're experiencing problems getting their money at the moment. It's beautiful looking furniture. It's, uh, it is. <laughs> and it's, it's a very popular furniture store on the island. They have several outlets here. And uh, a lot of other companies selling similar stuff have shown an interest now that they've seen this site. Yeah, I can understand why. It's lovely. Is this, um, was it Eddie, your partner involved in the programming? For this? Absolutely. Eddie and David, mm -hmm. both um, programmers with Navigabine. And they put a lot of their own, own touches into it to make it work properly. But uh, German just lets you do this. Yeah. And now that Joomla 1.5 has been released, I have to say, I was so happy with Joomla 1. It, for, for me as a creative guy, as a designer, it was, it was just magic to build sites around. So, of course, 1.5, which is a to totally new architecture, is just uh, a whole new, whole new dream as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm glad to see. I mean, you, you were, to be fair, you guys were pushing 1.0 to its limits, and, and this is a good example of a 1.0 website that's been pushed to its limits. Um, have you got your heads around the templating engine in Joomla 1.5 yet? Yes, we're yeah. just putting together a site. In fact, it should be released within the next two weeks for the company that represents Havaianas, which are the Brazilian flip-flops. Okay. And uh, this is the company for Portugal, and we've built uh, a Havaianas website. I'll send you a screenshot of that. And this will work in a way that no other Virtumark store has worked, and it's built around 1.5 now. So this was great for us, for our experience, and 
they certainly paved the way for other sites that we're, we're developing now as well. well one of, uh, I think the first time I spoke to you was um, your Polero Golf website, which you've, um, you've also made multilingual. Yes, and that remains sort of the flagship of our, our, our company. A lot of people have given us great comments about it. A lot of people have found us through this site and given us work. And uh, even today, even though it's a year older, yeah. uh, we feel still it's very attractive. The client feels it's very attractive and that they're having great feedback and great success with it. So um, you um, built that. Um, was that without much knowledge of Joomla at that point, or was that sort of your first foray into using Joomla? That was one of our first Joomla sites, Peter. Yeah. We were very new to Joomla. If you remember, we first met just over a year ago in uh, uh, March or April. Yeah. And I'd just been on a course in Germany learning Rainbow CMS, yeah, which Rainbow. was... Yeah. Not, not to my liking at all, and I then discovered Eddie and Joomla. So we were new to Joomla, but it's, it's not a steep learning curve. Of course, I'm, I'm very much on the creative side. Eddie and, and David are on the programming side, but the uptake has been enormous, and, and it's, it's not difficult to get your head around at all. Well, I remember at the time I was um, quite pleased that I was talking to you because... Uh, as far as I was concerned, you were living the dream because here you are developing internet websites and you're living on a, on a magical tropical island in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean, off Africa somewhere. Um, and has that been a problem with work? The fact that you're located s somewhere s so unique? It is a problem sometimes. Yeah. And, and some people's eyes it tends to be a problem. Since, since we, we had uh, uh, our publicity that, that we, we got through being uh, uh, through, the, through the Joomla, Joomla Jews podcast that we did last year, yeah. uh, we've, we've had people contact us from throughout the world. At the moment, we're doing two projects with Dubai, and we have no problem at all communicating with clients, videoing with clients. But there are occasionally people that call and say, oh, you're on Madeira Island. That's a problem. And they sort of back away from us and don't realize that the Internet has the potential to allow you to work from anywhere in the world at the moment. Yeah. So, and Eddie, where's he based? He's in Spain? Still Eddie's, in Spain. Eddie's still based in Valencia mm -hmm. in, in Spain. And the, on the side, he runs his own company, Orange Web. And together we're putting a, a lot of wonderful sites together. Okay, well let's move on to another one. Over on your list you've got one here called Casavela.com. Casavela is a wonderful golf hotel, which I'm sure you would enjoy. And it's just on the side of the golf course at Palero Golf. So it's up in the mountains with spectacular views of Funchal, the harbour, and of course the golf course. And belongs to the Blandy Group, and they were so happy with the Palero Estate. Palero Golf site that we did that they asked us to come and do their hotel site. I can see some similarities in the design elements in this one. It's really nice too. Is that, um, how do you approach that? Do you, when you say you do, you do the creative, do you actually um, create a Photoshop mock-up and then get Eddie to do the slicing? How, how does that work? Well, I... I put Joomla totally out of my head. Yeah. I, I like to design sites without worrying about the software limitations. Mm -hmm. And as Eddie always points out, you can program anything. Of course, it can be costly and time consuming, yeah. but it means that you have total control of how you develop a website. So I will make a design totally independent of what we can and perhaps can't do programming wise. Yeah. And then we'll try and figure a way around uh, getting getting it to fit around the Joomla skeleton. So do you start with a piece of paper and then move into the digital form or the other way around? No. <laughs> Although a lot of my, my, my colleagues do that. I, I start in Photoshop and I, I put ideas together on the screen and, and adjust them until I, I feel I've got the right the right the right feel this, this is really nice it's really cool I see you've got a you got a booking engine there too so you can actually is that going off offline uh, 
that's, that's going to um, Chate Relais mm -hmm. Hotels to their own uh, proprietary booking engine. So did you build a module for that? We made a little module that interfaces with the, with their booking engine, yes. Okay. There's no stopping you, is there? <laughs> try. <laughs> Just try. <laughs> All right. Next one on the list we've got is... I'm just reminded of a bit of a lag here because it's loading up in Flash. So is this a Joomla site, even though it's in Flash, the, the um, Splash page? Yeah, I have to say we were very unhappy about the Splash page, but the client insisted. Yeah. And we had several meetings about it, but the client continued <laughs> to insist about having the Flash page. Okay. But behind it all, it is, it is, it is a Joomla site, and it belongs to um, IFBAN which is the Institute of Wine, Embroidery, and Handicrafts here on Madeira, and has a very rich history going back over 150 years. They were responsible for most of the exports of quality goods for many, many years. And they've asked us to put this site together for them, not only for consumers worldwide, but also for the producers, which is where Joomla came in very handy because there is a special section where registered users can log in the producers on the island and, and, and see additional information. It's really nice. I just had to kill it because it was playing music in my ears. <laughs> I'll, have, I'll bring it up um, when, I, when I put all this together. Uh, um, what else have we got? Madeira Marlin. Is this, uh, I'm guessing this is fishing because I know Madeira was famous for people like Ernest Hemingway going there and fishing. Is that the case? Yeah, it's, it's yeah. a big game fishing site. Also uh, part of the Blandy Group. Mm -hmm. And um, they're connected with a company that makes fishing videos. And um, we've incorporated, incorporated a lot of these videos into the site and given people the, the, the access rights to vote and say which, which photographs they like best, which videos they like best. There's, yeah. a, there's a blog built into it. So it's very, very much um, connected to the community. So people who um, perhaps would come to Madeira and fish, uh, if they've had a good day and they've caught something, they can, through this site, can they can, um, upload their video? Is that how it works? Or? No. Madeira Marlin is connected to a company that you can charter to go out with you while you're fishing, yeah. and they'll put together a wonderful high-definition video for you okay. and um, either burn it to disk or, or send it to you online. And these are the videos that, that get put onto the site as well. That's pretty cool. Okay, what's the next one? Communications. Oh, this is a German one, is it? Um, this is, uh, the next two are actually German ones. Yeah. Communications Optimera is, uh, is a gentleman in, in Germany who does consulting for, for large companies. And he was very particular about the way his site was put together. And he was very happy with the result. This is a very in-your-face site with lots of information, videos on the home page. Yeah, you see that. It's, um, and a 1.5 Joomla 1 .5. site. Okay. And do you find um, many of your clients opt for self-maintaining their sites, or do you look after them for most of them? We we have a maintenance contract with some of our clients, yeah. and that is probably the bad side of Joomla. There are so many good sides, but once you've completed a site, and because it's, of course, a CMS and the client's going to be taking care of it, you have to hand over control, artistic control, and content control. Yeah. And sites sometimes then seem to develop in a, in a direction you wouldn't have wanted them to go. Yeah. But, of course, the client's free to do what they want. There are many clients out there who are now updating their own sites. They're, they're, they're very touchy about what exactly they change. They, they, they know they could destroy things, and uh, they leave the images mostly to us. Yeah. But they'll put in their own text, update prices and special offers. And have you found them performing in search engines? Chris, do you have any special techniques that you use to, to help them there? Well, if I had, I wouldn't tell you. <laughs> I thought I'd ask. <laughs> okay, now I don't, no, I have to be honest, uh, no special techniques, yep. apart from doing what we, we always did as, as SEOs. Joomla is very search engine friendly as far as I'm concerned. 
and we haven't had any problems getting Joomla to perform well in the search engine. Certainly, in comments from clients, they've said that we've now had more traffic, we're better positioned in the search engines, we're getting more business, which is ultimately what the sites are all about. Brilliant. And the um, second last one, uh, another German site. I can't pronounce that. Can you help? <laughs> this is Trauer Reden Kronemann. This is actually... Um, somebody that Eddie knows very well. Yeah. Th this is a gentleman that will come to your funeral and say nice things about you. And he's made a business out of this and, and we made a very, very simplistic site, but it's Joomla. And uh, a lot of people were impressed with the simplicity of it. It's very nice. It doesn't, um, it doesn't look like a normal Joomla website. When I say normal. Just doesn't look like Joomla at all. It's just a nice template. <laughs> template. Excellent. Um, Chris, you, you guys have been doing quite a bit of work uh, in a niche industry, real estate, to be for the example I'm talking about. Can you tell me about what you're doing there? Yes, this is very interesting. This, is, this was actually a one-off job we did for a company called Immofactor on the mainland of Portugal. Mm -hmm. And they were trying to compete with the, with, the, with, the, with the expensive software that's available on the internet for running real estate agency websites. Yep. So we tried to put something together in Joomla and it worked. And we were able to build in a lot of the features that these other high-end companies are, are demanding or, or producing and demanding money for. Yeah. So we've sort of decided we'll specialize on this. We're now just finishing our fourth site and uh, each time we're, we're adding new functionality. And the great thing is we, we believe we really can compete with the high-end real estate agency software that's out there with, with the distinct advantage that there are no license fees, there are no monthly fees, no setup fees, and of course, um, no maintenance fees and this is something that most people really don't like about the, the the software that's available you have to continually pay to use it yeah well, so great. we're 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 still developing this very much so we've we've made so many uh, uh features available already and we have so many ideas to bring in web 2 into it to make it a lot more functional in the way of, of social media and this is certainly something we're going to pursue for the rest of this year. Now, if you've been watching Steve Jobs with his um, iPhone, you probably find ways to integrate some of that technology too. <laughs> I, I could say something about that, but um, it's still under wraps. Um, well, Chris, now that you're doing more with um, Joomla 1.5, is that going to be where your emphasis is going to be, do you, do you think? We, we shall absolutely continue to work with Joomla, certainly with 1.5. We're still making uh, 1.0 sites, but um, 1.5 has got so many additional uh, benefits. It's, it's, it's amazing. Again, as, as I said to you before, Joomla 1 was fantastic for me, and Joomla 1.5 has, has, has really taken the whole community by surprise, I think. Not just the fact that it's an, a new architecture, but it's got so much more functionality. Yeah, I think and things that things you would never have picked up, but that niggled you, are suddenly there and, and working in 1.5. Yeah, I think it's a little bit of a sleeper in, at the moment. It, uh, the downloads for Joomla 1.5, as opposed to 1.0, are about the same at the moment. So you sort of a, both are approaching about 250,000 a month, which is which is pretty good. <laughs> It's half a million, really. People, oh, yes. Yeah. People I've talked to are a bit wary because it's been, been advertised as built on a new architecture. Yeah. They're a bit wary it's going to be totally different. And maybe this is the reason people are still holding back for the moment. But I can only recommend it. Well, it's, it's good to hear from somebody who's actively out there building commercial websites using Joomla as the, as the tool of choice. Well... I think you sh should uh, enjoy the rest of your holiday. Thank you very much for um, speaking to me while, while you're on a public holiday. Thanks, Peter. Nice talking to you as well.
government spend their money on more war than peace. They take the truth out the knowledge that we all should teach and stay stuck with the guilt like some sort of leech. They give speeches but talk is cheap.